Yo, yo, I'm Drew Gilchrist, and you might be wondering where I've been for like the last week because I haven't really been making too many videos, I haven't been streaming, but I'm currently uh, in Liverpool, of all places, and I've met my childhood hero. And when most people say like, oh, I met my childhood hero, they usually mean like an actor or somebody they looked up to as a kid. And for me, it is somebody who I've really looked up to as a kid. Um, but this person is Gary Hughes, who made the chilling rooms in Liverpool. I don't know if any of you guys have seen my video called The History of Weed Stores in the UK, but I definitely recommend watching it. Because one of the key pieces of that puzzle was Gary Hughes from The Chilling Room. And he is going through some crazy, crazy stuff right now. And he's trying to make sure that we can like pave the way for the scene in the UK really. And that's what I want to show you guys. So we're going to go pick up Gary right now. We're going to go to his house, go grab him. Uh, we're going to talk to him, do a little interview with him. And uh, then we're also going to go inside the chilling rooms and show you guys what it's like inside there. Um, that's probably going to be part two. So there's going to be two parts to this video. First one, getting Gary, speaking to him, having a little interview with him. And then also part two is going to be out same day, same time, probably on the channel right this second. And uh, that is going to be going inside the chilling rooms and explaining how the chilling rooms actually work. So uh, for now, we need to go get Gary. So let's go get him. Right, quickly before we start this video though, we need to have a message from our sponsor of the day, Sharebongs. Yo, these guys have some amazing pieces over on their website and they're so crazy cheap. Like th this piece is like 45 quid, madness. And they have some crazy Black Friday deals on right now. So if you don't wanna miss out on the Black Friday deals, then you have gotta go over to the Sharebongs website. It's linked in the pinned comment down below. And uh, people, supporting the sponsors really does help out support the channel. So thank you guys and uh, let's get on with this video. So people, this right here is Gary, uh, Gary Utes, and I have been following this man on the internet and from forums for the last, I would say, maybe seven years. And I think even when I was like 16, I, I knew of Gary. And this place, I think, has been going since 2002. And I really wanted to ask you, what was like the first initial thought when you first opened? Um, literally, bring like the, bring the high life back to the. the country like I, I planned it um, with the council and everything I'd asked for um, all the permissions and I was not back I was not back so I just opened it and the community actually come together and loved every minute and I loved every minute being with the community so we all just grew together and um, hopefully now we've um, we've come through the struggles and we can um, all live the high life and um, get back to nature and put the high back on the high street <laughs> that is the best way and you were saying to me earlier that when you first opened you were only open for like a couple of weeks um so what what's it kind of been like over the last 20 years since you know you've been trying to run this place with sort of the kickback from police or council or whoever's trying to close the place down I'm open up again. <laughs> <laughs> you can't keep a good man down. I think that's yeah. that's one of the main things that I think people will learn about you very quickly is the one thing that you have in your mind is just trying to help other people. And I don't think anyone can deny that from, you know, the last 20 years of, of what you've been doing and trying to push for the community and push for a safer place for people. I think it's it's kind of insane that even to this day, you're still getting pushback, right? Um, yeah, that um, stigmatisation is still there. We're still hunted down on a daily basis in Liverpool for having the wrong flower in our pocket. Um, and we're here to um, bring change. Chilling rooms is the forefront of the end of the drug war. And um, if we can all come together as a real growing community and we can literally put the high back on the high street, all of us, um, we can all live the high life. and. Um, get back to nature as um, I'll roll with me and um, look at my 20 years behind the scenes of setting the industry up and um, my way is tried and tested okay it's everything for everybody everybody can plant the seeds now and um, grow with us and um, hopefully put chilling rooms in every corner of the country and literally bring the jobs the prosperity the health the harmony the wealth the um, the community back together so I um, I'm looking forward to them. Every day I grow up with the spring on my step and I'm, I'm, I'm honoured to be speaking to like you, Drew, and um, coming to chilling rooms and coming to Liverpool and showing, um, showing the industry what we're about type of thing. Um, but it's not just me no more. There's lots of um, other um, people from the highest echelons of um, 
accountancy and law and okay just media and and um, we, we're all gonna come together as one in an, um, a big pot of creativity mm. and um, just provide all the jobs and, and, and everything what the community needs right now like um, we're, we're, we're gonna roll the whole country is gonna like um, just just change mm. and so when when we were speaking before you were saying that from like the last 20 years obviously they've they how, how many times have have you have they raided here i've lost count I've lost count i've lost count and at this point when they're raiding you there's there's nothing they can really do other than break your stuff um well they terrorize the community they give everybody um, a caution last time they come and raided the place but they come with whizzers they come in military uniform with their um the body armor and the blue blue helmets and um just uh, just um totally destroyed the um, community and smashed the place up um, and acted like just not um, normal people. These um, officers need reforming and mm. through chilling rooms and we, maybe we can um, just bring them back as peace officers. Because that's the one thing I think is crazy up here is, is compared to down south, most of the time when it comes to cannabis and police, you can have a civil discussion, invite them in for a cup of tea and talk about it. But it seems like up here, they kind of don't do that. Um, Liverpool is the epicenter of the drug war. So I believe if I can end the drug war in Liverpool, the war's over in the whole of the UK. Mm. So this is, as far as I'm concerned, the hardest place to crack. Mm. So I'm standing tall today with 20 years, um, bringing the communities together, um, providing the jobs, providing a safe place and a place of harmony, a place of, um, real community and um, to ignite the debate now um, mm. let's keep the corporations out so it's a homegrown industry um, and it, it, it's it's time now we've, uh, we've it's got crazy on. that there's no form of home grow right now like people can have a prescription and you can legally be a medical patient in the uk and those same medical patients don't have the right to grow and it doesn't make any sense and and from what you've told me off camera what you want to see is everyone being able to grow whatever they want and being able to support people even if they don't have the space for it and coming together as a community so that everyone can get the best genetics and have the best flower all of the time and not have you know silly prices and have you know bad flower used with crazy crazy feed you know like everything should just be some nice organic flower that the community can share right 100 percent. we can all grow our own um, medicine and any extra we can bring to the local club and the club can transfer it to them um, credits or money to feed your family type of thing and mm. so you're not actually buying your cannabis or relying on some corporation to send it in the post you're actually um, nurturing the flower from the seed and you, it's three months um, and you've got to take care of it so it's it's the uh, um, just growing the flower is therapeutic um, mm -hmm. and then you know you can you can buy a pizza or you can by your children and your pair of shoes for school that's um, beneficial to me so it doesn't feel good to me taking your 20 pound i mean i'd like to provide the seed and the light and grow with us so we can all um, come together with everyone's got um, different strains so we can have maybe 100 200 different growers grown for the club and i can connect them digitally with uh, with um, our technology which we've been developing over the last few years in lockdown um, We've, we, we're going to be um, operational on the 12th of um, February next year, which is our 20th anniversary, mm. which is the app will be operational um, and we'll be connected with all the accounts and digitally. So um, there'll be no cash on the premises, so it will all be done digitally. So um, I'm really happy that um, we can set the standards for the industry and literally ignite the debate and everyone can watch me open my doors in a few months and and um, be all legit and as i say cannabis is legal now in the country it's prescribed by doctors but um it's it's sent in plastic tubs from i don't know where australia israel canada jamaica yes, denmark it's, um, it's, it's a mess it's it's, and, it, and we can't even get it from here you know, well liverpool <laughs> has got the best growers but um you can join my app and not so the police won't terrorize them and it'll all be legit and okay we'll we, they'll be accountable for the cannabis so it'll have to be tax paid and so everything's literally done with the artificial intelligence and my my um, technology what we're bringing to children room so um we're going to partner with nature we're going to partner with the future and okay literally look after everybody there's a mm. it's a win-win-win for everybody i mean and 
in our community now what I'm setting up at the same um, there's no such way there's no 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 it's just grow 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 so mm. we're all gonna grow together in the same little um orchestra of creativity and orchestrate the the, the, um, the change what what the community needs mm. yeah hundred percent and I think one of the main things I want to get across to people as well because I definitely want to be there to support you as well when this happens. You have a court date coming up soon, right? I'm in court on the third of um, December. For I was um, at forty syringes of cannabis oil. I was supplying to a um, patient who was taken up to and I've been supplying him for a few months, and um, his life was getting better. Um, and I was caught on a train. And this was a cancer patient, right? It was a cancer patient who was. Um, it was. It was healing him as far as I was concerned and he was concerned he was getting much better and um, his life was improved he come down to Liverpool um, his name's Alan Tisdale and he was a great man I mean he was a great business leader um, and he, he was really connected in the business community in Birmingham um, but we've got the connections up there now we've got connections in London we've got connections in China we've got connections all over the world so Chilling Rooms is, is going to uh, roll out Right, mm. um, right throughout the country with with, with the technology and um, just the the green print we've mm. got. That's what I've been developing for twenty years. I mean, that's that's the best way. I mean, I, I wouldn't want anyone else to be trying to lead this other than you, really, because you have the most experience in the UK out of out of anyone. Yeah. And that's why I, I for sure, I'm going to be there on December third outside the court supporting you and I hope that other people watching this will, will show up as well and be yeah. there with me I'm gonna have a little stall I'm gonna have a big thing saying which cannabis is legal I'm gonna have two bits of um different bud I'm gonna have some prescription I'm gonna have some non-prescription on the table next to each other and I'm gonna try and get the police to come over try and get as many members of the public to come over interview them and see what their thoughts are and explain why you're going to court that day because right now you can legally get prescribed cannabis but if somebody has a medical condition where something other than the prescribed cannabis works, but it's still cannabis and it works better for them and is cheaper for them and is easier for them to get, they're vilified for it. And it makes absolutely no sense. And I think that's, that's what I would, I would love to see a lot of people come together and, and, re and really support you, Gary, man. Thank you for your support. It means so much just you being here and um, coming together, the whole communities, like, um, feeling the, the vibrations of the, the change and uh, it's time right now to um, put put the drug war to bed like type of thing and uh, live the high life. A hundred percent, a hundred percent. So I think I'm going to end this part of the video off here because we've um, heard some of Gary's story and we're going to hear a bit more of it, but I'm going to show you guys around the chilling rooms. We're going to have a little smoke, maybe talk a bit about some bud, see what Gary's into. And um, that will also be up on this channel right now. So I'm sure there's going to be a little outro on this video anyways. It's not just going to end here, but this is where <laughs> me and Gary are going to go into smoke mode and <laughs> we're going to talk about some less deep issues. <laughs> so that's Gary Utes. And when I say he's like my childhood hero, he's still a hero of mine to this day. I really, really can get behind, you know, his mindset and what he wants to do for this country and what he's been doing for Liverpool so far already. So like I said in the video, he has a court date coming up on December 3rd and it's at Liverpool Magistrates Court. So I'm going to be there from like 8, 9 in the morning and I'm going to be there all day uh, protesting for him, trying to make a point and uh, show that this whole thing is just stupid. And I'm hoping that you guys can be there as well. So if you want to come December 3rd, Liverpool Magistrates Court, I'm going to be there outside. I'm going to be filming a video and stuff. So if you want to be in the video and uh, help support Gary as well, feel free to come by. I'll have more information uh, about it coming up on my socials. So follow my Instagram, follow my Twitter and stuff. And make sure to follow Gary as well. Gary's socials will be in the pinned comment down below. So make sure to check that out. And uh, people, thank you very much for coming here today. And uh, I'll see you guys very soon. And there's part two of this video up right now. So part two of this is up right now on the channel. You should go watch it. Have a little look. Peace.